Yeah, but I'm sorry to Makila locals. If you're from this area, this place sucks. <laughs> What is up guys welcome back to another subaru video if you guys watched last week's video you may have noticed that we did get some new wheels for the wrx we did pick up some kanze rokus in 18 by nine and a half plus 22 it's such a beautiful spec for the wrx make sure you guys go subscribe like this video and go comment so that we can keep on buying more parts for the wrx but anyways let's go get on to today's video what's up guys so if you remember in the first video that i uploaded not too long ago we actually installed the OLM F1 fourth brake light for the WRX. So the version that I bought was the NB plus R, meaning the fourth brake light doesn't flicker whenever you brake. So it, it kind of sucked that the NB plus R didn't flicker. It only flickered when it's in reverse. And then when you press the brakes, it just turns red. Anyway, we're gonna go fix that right now but that only costs $8, about $8 to do this fix. So I just picked up this GS100A strobe controller LED stoplight that which you basically splice and connect it to your brake lights. Now this came with two and this is the other one that I am about to use for the OLM fourth brake light. So if you have the OLM fourth brake light, I'm assuming you put it in the driver's side, which is the same side that I did. And I already went ahead and went to cut it, but I connected it just for you guys as a demonstration. So if you pull out the harness for the fourth brake light, in which in my case, this is the harness that connects to my fourth brake light and goes down. And then this connects to my tail light. You're gonna notice that there are four different wires. So there's the green and blue, and then there's the red, the black, which is the power, and this is the ground. This connects to your brake light. So whenever you press on the brake light, it powers to the fourth brake light so since the fourth brake light is receiving power from the tail light we're gonna put this module in between the tail light and the fourth brake light it really helps if you have wire cutters like these or any splicing tool but in my case i already cut them and i already stripped them off and they're gonna end up being separated looking like this so these wires in the bottom going out for the fourth brake light and these wires getting power in from the tail lights so if you get the same exact brake module on Amazon or anywhere else, that's the GS100A, it'll tell you that there, this is the inside and this is the outlet side. So you're gonna connect the red to the red of the tail lights and the black to the black of the tail lights for the inlet and the outlet, same thing, but you're going towards the fourth brake light. I have heat shrinking tubes, which basically go around so you can cover the exposed wires when you twist them together. But if you're not available to access that, you could always use electric tape. However, I do suggest getting some heat shrinking tubes for your wires coming from our inlet. So I'm gonna go connect the power to the tail light and twist them perfectly. I'm no electrician guy, so please don't roast me. I just find this to be highly effective. Same case for the, for the negative wire. Put the shrinking tube inside first and get your module from the inlet. Black goes to black in this case. And then yeah, just repeat for the outlet side, guys. Grab your lighter and just hover the flame under the tube and it'll shrink. There we have it, guys. The tubes are nice and shrunken. The wires are connected. The module is connected. If I didn't make it clear the last time, the out goes connected towards the fourth brake light. The inlet goes towards the tail lights. But yeah, guys, obviously it doesn't flicker like crazy, but it's way better than not blinking at all. Honestly, it looks pretty cool. I'll put the link for the GS100A in the description down below. Honestly, guys, just for the sake of it, since I have another module, I'm going to be doing the same to the third brake light inside the cabin. If you have the WRX, you honestly just need to pop this thing out. It's super easy. Pry it out with your hands and it will unclip. So you're going to pull it out and then you're going to see this wire over here inside of it. If you split it nicely enough without cutting the wires inside, you'll see that there are two lines. This blue one is going to be your power and the same concept. This is going to be your, your ground and it's going to act the same as the module. This is going to be connecting to the red and it's going to be connecting to the black. But yeah, guys, I didn't really record it because it was kind of a pain in the butt. But this is a pretty simple layout and demonstration. This is the third brake light. Boom. This is the module, and then that's the power. So there's going to be the blue wire, and there's going to be the black wire. 
connect the red to the blue, connect the black to the black for the inlet source, or towards the third brake light, connect the red to the blue, black to the black, and that's gonna be your outlet source. I didn't even check if it works before shrinking the tubes, but I'm pretty confident in what I just did, hopefully, brain, I think. So let's just see if it works. Oh my gosh, that's sick. That's dope. It's a pretty good, what I would say, better alternative if you don't want to spend that much for a fourth brake light. Or if you don't like how the fourth brake light even looks on the car, but you want that flickering thing, go do the same thing with the module connected to the third brake light or even your taillights if you like. And just, yeah, it makes your WRX, I think, just look that much cooler. Makes it look like some sort of like F1 car. <laughs> What's up, guys? Check it out. It's Jada. It's crazy out here. This is Mr. Uh, famous guy right here. He has a YouTube channel. He got the pink car owner right there, Mr. Mr. Sean. Got our matching uh, WRXs. Yeah, we're at school right now, and uh, it's pretty sick. We parked outside, guys. So if you still park in the parking structures, you should probably get out of that and park outside with us too. Yes, outside parking supremacy, guys. You already know how it is. <laughs> it's kind of freaking hot. He's back too. Our build's kind of similar in a way. The colors are a little different because he has the, um, he was the 2015 one, so the paint's a little, it's a little darker than mine. Mine's the magnetite, but honestly, it looks pretty sick. And this guy is built like he's full stage too. He has like J pipe, cap bag, he got the intake blow up valve. It's freaking crazy, man. Oh, and the taillights are so sick, guys. Check that out. He has the Tome. Oh, look at that. Looks so sick. If you want his YouTube? Check him out. J. Don Wong. Miss Sean's car. But yeah, guys, we do go to SDSU. So if you go to SDSU and you own a race car, park outside of here. This is in between structures three and four. You can't miss it. Yo, that thing flutters, guys. Oh my god. Crazy. <laughs> it flooded, yeah. All right, later, Sean. That, that's gym approved i like it <laughs> the car is in need of a wash you guys probably can't see it with the camera but there's a lot of brake dust on the car right now oh man but this thing is this thing is a beauty and every little detail that we do to this car just makes it look a million times better i don't know how i feel about the egg yolks on the on this side of the car those might need to go until we get some new taillights for the wrx currently at sdsu right now on top of parking structure three and you got el cajon in the back i'm pretty sure that's el cajon it's been a crazy ride ever since we got this car back in november it's been only three months and we've literally done everything to this car oh my gosh we voided the warranty by doing a million different things so let's go start with the basics of basically what we've done to the car so for starters, we're running 5% tint all around the car, except for the front windshield, 5% from Jet Black Window Tinting. Go hit him up on Instagram. I'll put his at right over here. Then we got some airlift three-piece suspension uh, with airlift struts, dual compressors. So we have some Kanze's, Roku's, an 18 by 9.5 plus 22 with some Nanking NS25's 215 by 40 tires. In front, we don't really have much of an expensive lip. It's just a cheaper one until we could, I don't even know if I'm gonna get an expensive lip, but for now, this one does. It's not as low as other lips. It is a CS style three-piece front lip that you could basically get literally anywhere, Amazon, eBay. Around the window trim, we do have some eBay window visors. Um, they're not ceramic ones, like the cool ones where you can see through it. These are actually just all black plastic. 
um, but they do do the job they actually help with wind reduction wind noise and whenever you have the window down i always drive with the window down so it does help to have those wind advisors on the car in the rear end we do have some faction fab axle backs these sound amazing with quad tips they're just absolutely sick i love it i'm not really into single exit i know you do get more benefits with a single exit like a tome but for me i feel like i'm always gonna need to stick with these quad tips because they just look absolutely beautiful if you've been keeping up since the first video you do remember that this is probably the dumbest mod that i have on my car this fourth brake light from olm just did the little module with the car and now we have two f1 brake lights in the rear I actually never posted my video on this, but I did get some USDM WRX rear spats in the magnetite gray. It makes my car just an inch low. I kind of wish I got the JDM ones because it makes your car a lot lower. Uh, my friend Jonathan with the white WRX, he actually has the JDM ones and they look absolutely sick. On the inside, we do have the V3 Cobb access port. I'm currently not on any crazy tune, not the stage two. I wish we'll get there eventually um, until when I could get the J pipe but we are just running the basic stage one tune, which is, as you guys saw, which was pretty, it was pretty okay. You definitely notice the benefits compared to the factory tune. Yeah, it's pretty fun. I love having the cop access port, being able to track everything on my monitors. And then if you guys remember, these custom OEM Subaru WRX headlights that we opened up the other day when I revealed the wheels. Um, I actually did not show you guys how I did it. I think that my WRX homies we will be doing their headlights soon, hopefully. So maybe we can make a video out of that. Yeah, guys, I think some CS style side skirt lip extensions are very much needed to kind of clip off with the WRX. I feel like it's really missing something on the side and we need something to just kind of fill in that little gap between the car and the floor because we are on bags and I am maxed out. The wheel is hitting the chassis and I can't really go any much lower unless I like deflate my tires or something. The car is absolutely beautiful. I did a little bit more than what I was expecting to do with three months of ownership on this car. Been thinking about getting a new spoiler for this car. Not an STI wing, of course. I'm not really into that. Maybe a, a nice duck bill. What do you guys think? Should I get a duck bill for this car? Maybe a big one, maybe a small one. Let me know in the comments below guys. And I would love to hear you guys' suggestions. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. I appreciate all of you guys for whenever you comment, whenever you like, and whenever I see you guys subscribe. Until the next one, guys, be safe, take care, and go have fun. Peace.